we're getting ready to continue our pressure test on the lightweight charge tube from Jefferson State Air Rifles. This particular tube fits Marauder rifle, Benjamin Marauder rifle. Uh, we're gonna we have replaced an O-ring at the valve back here. Uh, it failed at about uh, eight, about 9,000 psi. Uh, so we replace that with a harder O-ring, a 90 duro O-ring with a backup ring because we want to be able to take the tube to failure. We're set up, filled with hydraulic fluid in the system, if the air purged. We've got the pressure dropped down to about zero PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and pump it up with the hand pump first to get it up to about 5,000 PSI. We're pumped up to 6,000 PSI at this point. I'm going to uh, change a couple valves on the uh, manifold block, on the manifolds, and, can, and pressurize it to about 9,000 PSI, and then we're going to hold it there. So I've got the pressure on the low pressure side of the hydraulic multiplier. We're going to continue pumping. Okay, we're just about 9,000 PSI, so we're going to hold it there and let it set for a while. We'll take a few measurements. That's it for the moment. Well, we've held at pressure between 8 and 9,000 PSI for about an hour and a half. A uh, little bit of pressure drop, probably leakage back into the pump, but we're going to depressurize, measure, and then we're going to take it up to the final burst pressure. Okay, we've had some growth, but we're still in the elastic region. All right, we're going to take and boost the pressure back up. All right, we're back at 7,000 PSI. I have recharged the low pressure side. Uh, the reason it takes so long is because the volume of the high pressure side is so small in comparison to the full volume of this actual charge tube, the lightweight charge tube, that sometimes it can take more than one load of oil from the high pressure side. So we're gonna go, go ahead and continue raising the pressure. At 9,500 PSI, the tube has expanded from about an inch 245 to about an inch 280. We're recharged again, back up at 8,500. There it went. Well, what actually failed was the, the valve pushed back. See? So the tube itself never burst. <laughs> 